You are best friends with Jerry Seinfeld. You guys were roommates, I think, for over a decade. You guys were he's, roommates. He's an idiot. Now, now you know I'm his roommate. <laughs> no, he's an idiot. Talk, he's an idiot huh? Yeah, he seems not a smart guy, is he? No. <laughs> oh, don't you ever say that in front of him, because like Seinfeld, like he's uh, eight years in a row, with one year on Fortune magazine, he was the number one money-making comedian in the world. Mm -hmm. In the world, Kevin Hart beat him out one year, mm -hmm. and so he think he knows everything. And he's first to tell me because I'm the one that tell him, "Shut up! You have no idea what you're talking about." Everybody else, all the other comedians, yeah, Jerry, yeah, whatever he says, it goes good. I don't take that. I talk to him like a little brother. I tell him to shut up. You don't know everything. You think you know this? You don't know that. He tells me, "Check the list. Check the list. He's number one on the list. That's all. That's right. his backup. Check the list. He's got too much money. I mean, you and I, we're doing real good. We're doing real good. But yeah." He's, he's, he's up there. It's different. These rich people, man, I go to the house. I mean, just too rich. I go to his house on the island, and the land and the property is so big. I mean, when you punch in the security code at the gate, Waze is still giving you directions to the house. <laughs> Wait. Just to get from the gate to the front door, you need Waze? In 2,000 feet, you will have reached your destination. <laughs> <laughs> and you get in the house... He doesn't like me to talk about this, how rich they are. And I'm going to catch hell for doing this. But I'm at his house. I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I went to pee. I, I come back. My bed is made. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a guy saying, a chocolate on my pillow. <laughs> it's crazy. But I, I do take advantage of his friendship. And, yeah. Uh, well, you should. You, know, you gotta, should. And, gotta, and you know what? Yeah. He needs you because he's got too many yes people around him telling him he's a genius. He needs you, George. He needs a guy like you telling him you don't know what you're talking about and you've got too much money. That's that's what he 45 needs. Forty five years. Forty five years, best friends for forty five years. We started a club called Catch Riding Star in the Comic Strip in New York City. But we've been best friends for forty five years. I wish everybody had a friend like Seinfeld, and it's just amazing. Um and yes, I'm actually the real roommate. I'm actually the real George and we've been for thirteen years we were roommates and uh, I was best man in his wedding and um I'm the father of his kids also. So, <laughs> it's, 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 hey, George, <laughs> that's been obvious for some time. <laughs> <laughs> when you see the kids, you go, they look a little dark. Yeah. <laughs>